Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new vlog. Today is, what's today? Today is Tuesday, May 14th. I just finished getting my 10K steps in. Well, I only got 7K steps, but a couple of vlogs back. I don't even know if I posted that yet. It might either be the vlog before this video or after this video, but I just got a walking pad and it's been my goal every day to get 10,000, 10 to 12 K steps a day. So I usually try to bang most of it out in the morning where I'll walk for about an hour and I get about six to seven K steps in that hour. I've been doing a lot more low impact workouts and I've really have seen and felt and noticed some good benefits doing that. So yeah, I'm gonna go take a shower and get clean, freshen up and get ready for my day. We have some fun plans for today. We wanna go to Georgetown. We wanna do some shopping, just walk around, get out of the house really because it's just been so gloomy and rainy for the past week. It still is, today is really rainy and gloomy but we're just tired of being in the house, you know, working and just being stuck here. We wanna get out and just walk around and just go do stuff. So we're gonna do that today in this vlog and it'll be really fun and then I have some hauls to show you guys. I have some new furniture that arrives I'm so excited about. Before we get into the vlog, I have to thank the sponsor, Lumi. Lumi is a whole body aluminum free deodorant that you can use all over your body, not just your armpits. You can use it on your pits, your private areas, your legs, your arms. And I really love whole body deodorants. I recently found out about them this past year because like I said, it's great for all over your body. Lumi was created by a doctor, an OBGYN to be specific and their main thing with their products is that it stops body odor before it even starts. It's clinically proven to provide 72 hour odor control and what I really love about Lumi is that it's a pre-odorant meaning it prevents body odor in the first place by stopping the odor causing reaction in our skin. So if there's specific places on your body you know odor comes from before it even happens before you even step outside you can go ahead and roll this all over wherever and you'll be smelling good it's great for sensitive skin it's aluminum free baking soda free and they never use any bad ingredients so lumi has a starter pack it comes with the whole body deodorant which i just talked about it also comes with the acidified body wash and it also comes with the acidified deodorant wipes. These are so great to put in your bag, in your gym bag, your purse, to work, travel, wherever. This whole body deodorant, that's a cream and it's a lavender sage. Oh my God, it smells so good. So this is basically, you know, similar to the deodorant stick, but this is a cream. So these products are going to be absolutely a necessity for summertime, it gets hot and humid where I live. It's going to be great for summer vacations if you go to an amusement park, Disney World, the beach, and everything is so easy to apply. The whole body deodorant slides on really smoothly. So I, you know, emit odor from like my inner elbows. So you can just like wipe it along those spots. It smells really good. The scent is actually toasted coconut. So smells so good. And the body wash again is very easy to apply as well. I love the size of this. I will definitely be bringing this with me on my next trip. The scent of this is clean tangerine. It smells so good. Such a perfect summer scent and it just comes out clear like that. So the Lumi starter pack is 30% off and it comes with free shipping. Plus my followers can get an extra $5 off for new customers. All you gotta do is click the link that's in my description and use code STEPHROSE at checkout. So definitely go check all of those products out. We gotta get right for the summertime you guys we're gonna be smelling good all summertime and we're gonna we're gonna tackle the odor before it even gets there okay you guys i am going to shower get ready for my day make some breakfast and get ready to head out to georgetown i haven't been to georgetown in a month or two and i always love going there and if you're not familiar with the dc area georgetown is like the cutest little town it's very like historic very cutesy I don't know how to explain it but they have all the shops there all the stores all the restaurants all the coffee shops and even though it's raining we're gonna still make the best of our day so I will check with you guys later bring you guys along Right, guys we're in georgetown we're gonna do a little kind of work study sesh at a restaurant where they have coffee it's like a little cafe anto came with me we're gonna get some work done Good and morning, guys. yeah it's still the morning we got here really early and we're gonna get some coffee breakfast probably shop around a little bit we're gonna have 
a good day. Oh, that place called Dig. This place is new in Georgetown, but I've heard really good things. I think they have it in New York and Boston, but it's like a little bowl place. Am I? Are you pressed? So it was really packed inside, but we found some outdoor seating. Even though it was rainy, I just took a bunch of paper towels and wiped down our table. So we are sitting here getting some work done. We ordered some food. Look at me being a smart young man. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Got an ice matcha. You want some? What is that? Ice matcha. Ah, peaceful, peaceful background. I really you know like this. You see like, the laptop we're like kids. Secluded from everyone. Right? We're here getting our work done in DC, you know what I'm saying? Yo, I felt him. Oh my God, that scared me. I felt this little guy getting near me. I thought that was hey. a raindrop at first. He's just looking for crumbs. Oh, I'll feed him. Oh, this is good. I should have added honey to it, but I got oat milk with it. Pretty good. Score out of 10? Six, point five. Seven. That's low. No, seven. Yo, he's back. It's not sweet. Hey. Neck was tweaking. Wait, like. I'm surprised he's this close to art birds, like scared of people. Except seagulls, they're not scared of nobody. Okay, we got our food. Anto got a is that what a turkey that, yeah. club? Yeah, I think I it was a turkey club. Wow, so and really I good. got this is called the Elisa breakfast bowl. Mm. That's white beans and egg. Oh no, that's the beans. That's some grain and then feta cheese. That's a lot of feta. And we got some veggies. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. I was having <laughs> trouble getting oh, the knife Oh, it's two out. sandwiches. I thought it's just like one tall one. Yeah, you want one? Oh, I'll have to take a bite later. It's have turkey avocado. Turkey avocado. It was like a red pepper aioli. Red, red pepper aioli. It's like the orange sauce that you see. That looks good. I love a good club sandwich. Mm. Get that feta in there. Mmm. This is good. Oh my god. All the flavors are so good. Oh, look at this. Man's is eating my leftovers. Yo, he's eyeing the avocado. He's eyeing the avocado. Bro, he's going in. My bad. Look, 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 look. My bad. I'm not I'm not looking. My bad. Yo, yo. It's good, right? Guys, I made an outfit change because I'm extra. And we're about to go to uh, these gardens right now. And I wanted to get some cute pictures with the flowers in the gardens. And we're walking there. And I don't know if that was the greatest decision because I'm out of breath. And I'm wearing like heeled cowboy boots. So we're almost there. This place literally looks like a secret garden. Oh my God, Aquarius, that's me. Honestly, this would be perfect wedding venue. I'm pretty sure they do have weddings here. Oh my God, Anto, look at the pool. No, we can't go in it. Looks so nice though. These stairs are scary. Do you wanna go down and look at it? Yeah. Let's go. This looks like a, like a villa in Napa Valley. Oh my gosh. Careful on the stairs are so steep. What's there? Oh, this is so pretty. Wow. You sure I can't go in there? I'm sure. I wonder what they use this pool for. I feel like we're in another country. It's gorgeous. Uh, it just says no children under the age of 15. No, that other sign over there said no swimming. I'm older than 15. <laughs> I can't go in. Maybe in the summer we'll come back when the pool's open. We should have came like maybe a couple months, like a couple weeks ago, maybe. Oh my god, beautiful. I feel like 
like Sleeping Beauty right now. No, oh. what's her name? I feel like Belle. Nah, it looks crazy around you. So pretty. This is this is my happy place. We gotta come here every week. Facts. Guys, that was gorgeous. If you are in the DMV area, you have to come here. Oh my god, I just almost fell. It was beautiful. The place is called Dumberton Oaks garden hey you guys so we're back home now it was a really fun day out i have some things i want to show you guys i did buy a few things while we were in dc so i'll show you guys what i got and right now i'm about to unbox a package that i just got in the mail hint it's a furniture piece i think i mentioned this either in this vlog or a previous vlog but i got a new little love seat to put in this room right now in the office slash um glam office beauty game room this room serves a lot of purposes but i got a new little love seat to put right here against this wall because i just wanted a place to sit in here aside from the desk and you know where i do my makeup which let's ignore that because that's extremely messy my vanity but yeah i wanted a little love seat to be able to sit here hang out because Anto spends a lot of time in here, so I wanted a place where I could sit and work as well. So I moved the clothing rack over this way, made some room, and it should fit. But anyway, I'm going to unbox it now, and we're going to move it in here. It's so cute. I can't wait to show you guys. I hope it turns out good in person as it was online. Okay, I had to stop filming halfway through because I was struggling to put these pieces together and then Anto came and he helped me and we were struggling for about 10 minutes but honestly it took about 15 minutes to put the whole thing together. No screws are involved, no tools. You just like slide each of the pieces into each other so it was really easy to assemble but it's definitely easier with two people but I love it. I think it's a great addition to this room. Here's what it looks like. It's the perfect size fits two people very comfortably with extra room um and yeah i just kind of wanted something in here where either of us can hang out while the other one is working or you know if i'm doing my makeup whatever it is i wanted to make it more comfortable in here and it's such a soft material and it comes with these two little uh throw pillows but i really like how modern it is and on the sides it kind of like touches the ground but it does have this underneath storage so that's kind of what sold me on it because um if you guys saw my previous vlogs i got a walking pad and i want to be able to store it somewhere like if we have i don't know guests over or if i just want to get it out of the way out of sight so i can easily store it under there so yeah i feel like the room is finally complete or complete enough you know this is like my little side i have my vanity my clothing rack um, and the sofa and then this is like Anto's side that's where he works and he plays his games and he really just has taken over this desk probably the most we're gonna do with this office I always want to like decorate this nicely and make it look all cute but I just want to keep it clean looking that's my only goal is to make it clean organized decluttered and I feel like this is good enough so yeah I'll link this in my description this is from Amazon it cost under 300 I think it was 269 ish but shipping was a hundred dollars and I know that's a lot but if you think about it it's a love seat that costs 369 dollars which is typical for a love seat like this and yeah I mean it's comfortable and it's not too low I feel like it looks low on camera but it's really not I mean I can sit comfortably and I like how it has kind of a high back, so it's comfortable to sit on. But yeah, I can, you know, work here on my laptop, chill out. I can even sit like with my feet on all the way, like I fit. So yes, it's really comfortable. I can't wait to relax here. I can even like read a book. I feel like this is our second living room. This has never been a room where I've hung out. I usually only come in here to do my makeup, ride my peloton or work at the desk but i don't work at the desk anymore onto it is 
Um, but now I feel like I want to spend more time in here because he spends a lot of time in here so we can like hang out together. Um, so yeah. So I have some more hauls to show you guys. I went to Abercrombie in Georgetown and I picked up a few things. And then I also got a package from Zara in the mail. Then I also have a big package from Crate and Barrel. I'm replacing all of my plates and pretty much just the plates. Oh, and the bowls too. Because the majority of the plates that we have are chipped and we've just been eating with chipped plates. Should never have chipped plates, like that's my pet peeve. And every time we use those plates, I would just get so irritated. So I decided it was time that we needed some new dinnerware. So those just got here. Hopefully they're not broken. So I'm gonna open those packages. But yeah, let me show you guys what I got from Abercrombie. Another great thing about the sofa is I have a new place to sit down and film whatever I'm filming, my hauls, my just sit down videos. So that's nice. Okay, there's a few noises. Um, Anto's on the phone. And then the pool next door, they just opened up. I guess they open early. It's May 15th today. They open early and they blast their music. It sounds like a club. There's so many times where they forget to turn off the music and it's playing overnight and we can hear, the walls are not thick here. We can hear everything. So if you hear like, doom, 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 cause it's like house music they're playing. If you hear that, I apologize. But anyway, let me show you guys what I got from Abercrombie. So Abercrombie is having their shorts sale. It's like a shorts event. I think all the shorts are 25% off, so I stocked up on a few different shorts. I really wanted to get a pair of these like dad shorts in a light color, a light denim color, but they are all sold out of most of the sizes. So these are the loose short and they're high rise. They're also curb love. All the pants and jeans and shorts I get from Abercrombie are always curb love. They're really great if you're bigger on the bottom, smaller on top, and honestly, Abercrombie's jeans are one of the only brands of jeans that fit me well enough. So yeah, I got these black denim ones, which I've been wanting to get some black denim jeans too, or jean shorts. So I think that'll be really cute in the summertime, a nice essential. And then I got a pair of black trouser shorts, a little bit more dressier. So I love pants like these. I like to wear these with blouses or tank tops and a blazer for a nice chic summer look and some cute sandals. So these are the ultra high curb love again and the inseam is 4.5. I think the inseam of this is five inches. And then I also got those same black trouser shorts in white and I just really wanted a nice pair of white shorts to wear again. Um, dressy with some button down shirts or whatever but yeah I think these are some good essentials to have in your wardrobe for the summertime and then I also picked up this skirt I've been on the hunt for a nice basic black mini skirt and this is nice because it does have a little stretch to it in the waist and they have built-in shorts and I forgot to mention the sizes of everything I got the skirt in a medium and then all the shorts I got in size 29 I used to be size 30 but I officially have lost a pants well actually I've lost two pant sizes because I used to actually fit into 31 when I was at my heaviest and then I went down to 30 last year when I lost like I lost like 10 pounds last year and now I'm down about 25 almost 30 pounds so I dropped another pant size so that's another reason why I wanted to get more shorts and in jeans because I dropped a couple sizes so I wanted to get some that Fit a lot better and then I also got this linen dress it's kind of like a vest dress it really reminds me of the 90s and I just love a cute little linen vest dress like this I got this in a size medium and I think this will be so cute with some sandals and a chic bag I just love how they have a lot of chic pieces and that's kind of what I went for it with this haul so yeah I got that and then the last thing I got from Abercrombie is this top I love 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 this top so like Chanel-esque and the buttons are so pretty the buttons are so pretty look at the design of them and they're gold I just love the black trimming and it's really heavy good quality so yes I got this in size medium and that's all I got from Abercrombie. So now let me show you guys what I got from Zara. Ooh, I am loving the textures and colors of this haul. Very into blue lately. I don't know if I showed my outfit today, 
but I was wearing my new Adidas blue Sambas and I was wearing my Tory Burch blue tote bag. I'll insert a photo of my outfit today. I took a photo when we were sitting outside on the balcony, but I just love blue. I think that's my new favorite color to wear. I just love how I am interested in colors again. I love how I love pinks and blues and greens and oranges. It's just so much more joyful and fun to wear color. Obviously, I still like my neutrals, but I don't know. I'm just loving pops of color, more specifically, I should say. Okay, so here's what I got from Zara. So I got another dress. I got this denim dress, and I have been on the hunt for a denim dress for summertime. It's like a little mini dress, and it has the buttons up here. I love the kind of acid vintage wash of it, and it has... The pockets here they had a lot of denim mini dresses I think they're super cute to throw on for spring and summer a nice casual look with some cute slide sandals I got this in a size large because with Zara I just feel like run small with the sizes every time I get my normal size it's too small so I sized up because normally I'm a medium now in most things but I size up to large and then I got this cheetah print dress so this is the original reason why I placed the Zara order because I saw this girl on TikTok wear this dress and I need to link this video because she is so genius. She transformed this dress into a mini dress, a mini skirt, and a long maxi skirt. She like wore this dress four different ways and it just like she did so good. I was truly influenced by her to buy this dress and who doesn't love cheetah print? I have loved cheetah print for years. I feel like I'm seeing a lot more people wear cheetah print. Um, but yeah, I've always loved cheetah prints. So this dress was $45. I got this in medium because this one is stretchy and it's just a, like spaghetti strap and the straps are not adjustable. So hopefully it should be okay, but it has like this cowl neck. I think that's what you call it. The cowl neckline where it kind of droops in the front and it's just a nice maxi dress. I think that'll be super cute for summertime, maybe on vacation. Um, that'd be nice. And then I got a couple skirts. I got a denim mini skirt. I've not had a denim mini skirt since I was like in college, like when I was in high school. And I just really wanted one because it's a nice basic essential to wear with anything. And I also like how it cuts off in the back. It kind of looks like, you know, they were pants and they were just like cut off. So I really like that. And it has like a double lining. So even though it's ripped right here, there's still like material behind it, so it's not see-through, so your butt is not showing. But yeah, I just thought they looked really nice. They kind of look like Levi's, like they look high quality. I got this in a size large and I got this for $45. Picked up another skirt. This is a cream pleated skirt. I thought this top would be cute with this skirt. I know I had this skirt on the way and I saw this top in store and I was like, wait a minute, I feel like that would be so cute with the skirt that I ordered from Zara. So. Yeah, I really love the pleated skirt look. I feel like this could also be something that I transition to fall to wear with sweaters and tights. I wear this so many ways. I got this in a size large and this again was 45. The last thing I got was this blue button up. I love my button ups and I especially love them in the summertime. And I don't have any button ups this color. I love the blue, kind of like a periwinkle. Um, so pretty. So I got this in a size large. This was 40, literally everything was $45 that I got. Literally every single thing. Anyway, yeah, it's oversized fit and I think this would be super cute with jeans. Oh my god, I would totally wear this with the denim mini skirt for an effortless, very chic summer look. Ugh, I cannot, cannot wait for summer. Um, that's all I got from Zara and Abercrombie. I will try to link everything in my description. I don't know why I just got so worn out. Either I got really worn out from all the walking and sightseeing we did in Georgetown or this couch is so extremely comfortable. Oh my god, this is the softest. Like the cushions are soft, the material is so soft. I could literally take a nap here. I think for dinner we're going to order food. I'm so tired and I don't think we're going to cook. I haven't even gone grocery shopping this week. I need to do a weekly reset and I'll probably vlog that tomorrow or the next day but i think we're gonna order some chinese food or we'll see uber eats is our go-to app of choice so we'll see what uber eats has but yes yeah, so i hope you guys enjoyed the haul i'm so excited to try all these things on and to start styling things and just can't wait for summer weather i am so over this gloomy weather it has been a gloomy for the past two weeks every single day except for maybe one day 13 out of 14 days it's been raining and gloomy so i'm just over it but yeah, we still had fun. And I got my steps in for today. I mentioned 
a couple times that I'm trying to get 10 to 12 K steps a day. So right now I'm at 9,800 and it's 7, 20 PM. So I feel like I'll get it by the time I go to sleep, just like walking around the house. All right guys, I will check with you later. Yeah, we're gonna just have a chill night. Okay you guys, so these are the new plates and bowls that I got. They are from Crate and Barrel and these are from the Mercer collection. And I previously had plates and bowls from Crate and Barrel, but they were matte and these are porcelain. So I'm hoping these will work a lot better. I got the cereal bowl and I got six of them. They came in sets of eight, but I figured I didn't need eight of each for just two people. So I got six of each. I bought them individually. Yeah, so I got the cereal bowls and I really love how they are very deep and I just love the shape of them. They look so much better than the current bowls that I have which are all chipped so i'm hoping these won't chip as badly as the matte bowls that i have but yeah that's the cereal bowl and i really also love how they stack really nicely the current ones that i have do not stack nicely and i'm always so scared that they're going to like tip over and fall and break but these stack perfectly in the cabinet and then i got the low bowls as well which i use low bowls so much i use them for dinner for breakfast for pastas salads for all of the bowls I make. So yeah, low bowls are like a necessity and I feel like I use low bowls more than any other dinnerware. I just love the unique shape of them. I thought they were so beautiful. They're very different. Also with the matte plates that I currently have, they're all scratched. So I'm hoping with the porcelain ones, they don't scratch as much, but I just love how they look. So again, six of those. And then I got six of these small salad plates and that's just what they look like. I like the raised edges so that food doesn't fall off. And I just love the material. Like, look how gorgeous that is. So, yeah, we got that. And then the regular size dinner plates. So nice. And I'm very happy that nothing came broken. So I'm going to run these all through the dishwasher. And we're going to toss the chipped bowls and plates away, which is pretty much all of them are chipped. So I have to go um, get rid of those. And then, yeah, we're going to start eating with these. I'm so excited to make my salad bowls and just to cook and plate my foods. Yeah, this is what being an adult is like, getting very excited over new plates and bowls. Hi guys, this is the next day. I realized I forgot to end the vlog yesterday. So I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. We're gonna end it here and I will see you guys in my next video.